In this video, we'll take a look at how to create a simple object wipe transition in Final Cut Pro without needing to download or install any plugins. This is Serge and welcome back to my channel. Other than the occasional cross dissolve or a fade to or fade from black, the object wipe transition is one of the only transitions you'll see used in professional video or even Hollywood films. The transition is very discreet and often goes unnoticed by the audience and it's very simple to do in Final Cut Pro. Let's take a look at how it's done. The only thing you'll need for this transition is a video clip with an object or a person that takes up the entire frame and moves across the screen. In my example, the taxi car driving across my frame works perfect. First thing we need to do is select the clip you want to reveal with this transition and add it to your timeline. Press V to disable it for now. Next. Connect edit your first clip, the one with something moving across your frame, above your selected clip. Skim your clip and place a playhead on a frame where your trailing edge is clearly visible. Open the effects browser, scroll down to the masks category, and drag and drop the draw mask effect over your top clip. In the viewer, use the pen tool to add control points to outline the edge of your object. Add as many control points as you need to perfectly outline your shape. To close your mask, zoom out in the viewer and add control points on the outside of your frame around your image. When you click the original control point, your mask is complete and everything outside the mask will be transparent. In our case, since the clip below it is disabled, everything outside the mask will be black. Next, in the inspector, in the masks category, add a keyframe to your control points by clicking the little diamond button beside the control points. The diamond will turn yellow. Go back one frame in your timeline and reposition your control points in the viewer to outline your object. Keep going back and adjusting your control points until your mask is completely off screen. Since this parameter is keyframed, anytime you make any changes to your control points, a new keyframe will be added. Go through your clip one frame at a time and adjust your control points until your masked object is entirely off screen on the opposite side you started on. When you're finished, your clip should look something like this. Now, all that's left to do is re-enable a bottom clip and let Final Cut Pro render out your video. Your finished product should look something like this. You can also use the same method to wipe on a title into your project. Depending on the size of your text, you may not even need your moving subject to take up the entire screen. For example, in this clip, we can use the man walking across the street to apply a title wipe effect. To do this, add a title to your project, select your preferred font and resize the title. Next, skim your clip and make sure the subject covers the entire title. Now, instead of applying the draw mask effect to the video clip like we did before, apply it to the title clip itself. Move your playhead to where your subject is just about to cross the start of your title and zoom in on your frame for more precision. Add control points to outline your moving subject. As you'll notice, Final Cut Pro will not let you add control points inside the text box. To get around this, from the Tools drop-down menu, select the Position tool. Now, with the text box out of the way, you can continue adding control points to outline your subject. Click on the first point to close your mask and, in the inspector, add a keyframe to your control points. Go through your clip one frame at a time and move your control points until your title is fully revealed. Once done, switch back to the Select tool and let Final Cut Pro render out your project. If you followed all the steps, your result should look like this. Next time you watch a movie or a TV show, pay attention and see if you can spot when they use an object wipe to transition between clips or to reveal a title. It's used quite often and, as we just learned, it's not very hard to apply, it just takes a little bit of time. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting the like button or in the comments below. And if you're new here, make sure to check out the rest of my channel for more Final Cut Pro tutorials. New videos upload weekly, so make sure to hit the subscribe button. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.